This is a special report from True Crime Today and the Hidden Killers podcast. For the Hidden Killers podcast, I'm Stacy Cole. Once more, the University of Idaho has decided to postpone the demolition of the residence where four students tragically lost their lives in November. This delay has become open-ended due to the recent indefinite postponement of the murder suspect Brian Koberger's trial. During a meeting held on Thursday, university officials opted to stick with their earlier decision to defer the demolition of the off-campus property on King Road, which was initially slated for October. Now, earlier this year, the university city assumed ownership of the six-bedroom home with the initial intent of removing any reminder of the students' deaths before the commencement of the fall semester last month. The University of Idaho has refrained from setting a new demolition date, but has committed to refraining from any demolition activities until at least mid-December after the semester concludes. According to the university spokesperson Jody Walker, there are currently no set plans for the property's future once the house is eventually taken down. In a telephone interview, Walker remarked the King Road house will not face demolition this semester. We will continue our preparations for its eventual removal. She emphasized that the university is striving to strike a delicate balance between prioritizing students' education and paying respect to the memories of the students that were lost. When the university initially announced its plan to demolish the house back in August, it encountered opposition from some of the victims' families. Three of these families expressed concern about destroying the property, which could potentially erase any remaining evidence ahead of Koberger's originally scheduled trial date in October. We will keep you up to date if any more developments happen regarding the Brian Koberger trial. At this time, it is indefinitely postponed. Stay tuned for further developments. This has been a special report from True Crime Today and the Hidden Killers podcast.